If you're looking for elevated luxury living in the Sacramento region with sunset and lake views, then you are going to want to join us today as we reveal one of our newest new home communities in El Dorado Hills. Not only is the community itself amazing, this community gets you into top rated schools like Oak Ridge High School. Plus, I love the location. It gives you easy access to Promontory Community Park and the Palladio and Folsom, as well as the El Dorado Hills Town Center. <laughs> We are out here in El Dorado Hills in the western foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountains. This unique community is intertwined within established luxury homes. This will be an intimate community with a limited collection of only 44 homes surrounded by an abundance of natural beauty and panoramic views. We were out here the other evening with clients and the sunsets are just absolutely amazing. The video is just not going to do this justice, you got to come see it for yourself. They have four floor plans. They have one single story that goes up to 2,900 square feet. That one's not modeled, but we can share a virtual tour uh, for you if you're interested in that one. The big draw to this community, it's large two stories with three floor plans ranging from 3,600 square feet to 4,600 square feet with many unique configuration options like multi-generational living, prep kitchens, craft rooms, California rooms, and their large balconies. These homes are absolutely perfect for families wanting to move to the Sacramento region. We are standing in front of Plan 3 that is just under 4,000 square feet. These start around 1.3 million and could go upwards of 1.7 million depending upon the lot selection and selected upgrades. Make sure you stick around as we are going to show you a prime view lot that is about to be released with this floor plan. Now we're inside the plan three, and as you come in, you have these high ceilings, your staircase wraps around, and you're greeted by exterior views out your back windows and your patio. You have gorgeous flooring throughout this one. Again, everything's gonna be customizable in these homes unless you decide to pick. They do have some move-in ready homes that will be done in the next few months where the designers have already selected the finishes. But if you wanna build from the ground up, you can pick everything. They have a grand dining room here, plenty of seating. Um, they do have this walled off. There's a couple options if you want open walls here, um, but seating for eight at this table. And then as you come into the common space, you're gonna have a very large family room. You have a fireplace option um, at the back. You're gonna have a modern fireplace option and then a more traditional, and then you can change all your uh, design on the surrounds here. You also have the option of this oversized slider, which is what a lot of our clients like. Um, you're gonna be able to have the center meat sliders opening to your extended covered patio. Again, this is great when you have these types of views to have that indoor outdoor lifestyle and you're really going to be able to get that with this plan. We're going to move on over to the kitchen area where you'll see it's a moderate sized kitchen, uh, not huge, but you have a good size island with seating for four. You're going to have your sub-zero fridge. And in this one, they do have it modeled with the Cafe Series appliances. You are gonna be able to select which appliances you want. They have a single dishwasher as well as the six burner range. And then you also have an oven and microwave com um, combo here. Now, special to this builder is they have the unique prep kitchen. So let's check that out over here. So in this prep kitchen, you're gonna have lots of extra storage, but you're also gonna get an additional microwave. So this could kind of be your kid zone. And then you're going to have a wine fridge, another sink with a nice window out to that view, as well as another dishwasher 
and another refrigerator. So you kind of get double of everything and then you don't have to have that fridge in the garage, you can have it right here. And then you still have a very nice size pantry here for storage. So again, this is an option. You don't have to have this. The base model is just gonna have a, a pantry here and you wouldn't have all the prep kitchen, but it is an option to add on if you desire that. Especially if you entertain, this would be a good option. There's one more option that they've configured this model with, and that is called a craft room. This is going to be in lieu of a third car garage though. So to me, this one comes at a huge sacrifice because I believe most families really need a three car garage between cars and all the kids' toys. But if you need more inside space, they call this a craft room. They have a stackable washer and dryer, another sink, and then lots of counter space in here. You also have a drop zone right here. This would traditionally be that third car garage with your entry here. So you have a drop zone coming in regardless of which configuration you pick, you'll have this uh, drop zone. So again, a nice option if you needed additional flex space downstairs. I think the prep kitchen while keeping the third car garage is probably the best configuration I would pick for a family. Now let's go check out the rest of the house. Come on outside. That's really the showpiece of these homes is going to be that they're uh, surrounded by nature. They're surrounded by those views, depending on where you're at in the community. You can get back up to some of the oaks. You might have a Folsom Lake view. You might have a city view, um, but you do have these covered patios that do have the California room option where you can add the fireplace outside too. Really nice for those evening hangouts right now. It's winter time. It's a little chilly, but we still have some beautiful days like this. That'd be nice to sit out here by the fire. This is gonna be on the smaller end of their lot sizes, um, but the hill goes down here where you have no backyard neighbors. So some of your lot space isn't always usable depending on where you select within the community. Now, if you've liked what you've seen so far, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let's go back inside and see the rest of downstairs. Before we head upstairs, as we come in this front wing of the home, we do have a half bath for your day guests and then we do have a downstairs junior suite. This junior suite is very spacious. You're gonna have a walk-in closet and then you're going to have an ensuite bathroom with a shower. Before we head upstairs of the plan three, let's just take a look at these views. Right here is Folsom Lake. So for many of these lots, we can get a view of that or the Sacramento skyline is also right here uh, next to the community. So like we said earlier, the sunsets are absolutely amazing. We were out here the other night and Danny was able to capture those. And Danny also got a visit from some friends while we were here. Oh yeah. So as you guys can see, there's beautiful oak trees. There's a lot of nature preserve around the area, which comes with you know the um, the animals that you know in, inhabit these places so I think we've seen um, eight or nine deer uh, about 20 wild turkeys just roaming the neighborhood and it's really cool you know especially not only for us but you know the children see that so it's awesome to be tucked into nature but not too far away from all the conveniences you're still nearby let's get inside and look at the second story of the plan three So as we come upstairs, we're gonna have our nice open landing with our loft or game room. So you have that additional living space uh, for the kids, a playroom, theater, however you envision using this. It is at the back side of the home. So if you have those views, you're gonna be able to see them out the window. Now let's go check out the secondary bedrooms. 
So as we come to this side of the home, we're going to have a secondary bathroom. It has two sinks and then you're going to have the shower over the tub. Then we have an upstairs laundry room off to the side here, which is really spacious, has lots of linen storage um, as well as cabinetry built in there. And then let's head into this first secondary bedroom. So this is the first secondary bedroom. And as you can see, it is a great size. They have a, probably a queen size bed here with dual nightstands. It has a walk-in closet. Again, this is at the back side of the home. So the views, just windows, windows, the house is covered in windows. So no matter kind of where you're at in the community, you're gonna get some gorgeous views out your windows. Um, you do have a walk-in closet on this one. And then we're gonna head over to the other bedroom. Coming into the other secondary bedroom, this is actually gonna be a junior suite. So we're gonna have a full bathroom here with its own shower. Um, this would be great for a teenager. And then the space in this one is also incredible. So getting to the, about that 40, 100 square feet, or a lot of these are specced out around 4,000 square feet, all of your rooms are going to be nicely sized. Again, you have a walk-in closet on this one too. So uh, you have the bedroom, you have the junior suite, and then we're gonna head over to the other side of the home where you have the primary suite. So your primary suite is gonna be on the other side of the loft, so you have good separation. So as you come in, you have a very spacious primary suite. You can have a large bed and you're going to have your balcony access, but we're gonna to get to that in a second. Let's check out the bathroom first. As we come into the bathroom, we have a walk-in closet here. We have a separate toilet room, and then you're gonna come in and you're gonna have an oversized shower with a sitting area with your soaking tub next to it. I like that they have the separation of the vanities here. You have lots of counter space and they have the nice framed mirrors and you have another walk-in closet here. So don't have to fight over closets. You have plenty of space and this one has a window in it so you do get natural light. Now let's go check out that balcony and view. So look at this balcony. This is a great addition. It doesn't come standard, but I think this one might be worth springing for with these types of views to be able to come out here and enjoy your coffee or a glass of wine in the evenings and have this incredible view. Now, before we move on to the next model, we wanna take you out into the community and show you a lot that is about to release with this floor plan with incredible views. We are standing on a lot that is about to release for the Plan 3. This one is going to go quick. It offers a 70 foot backyard that will have views of Folsom Lake right there and gorgeous sunset skies from many windows. If you're looking to move to the Sacramento region in 2024, you gotta reach out to our team ASAP to book your discovery call so we can make sure you are first to know about a release like this. We have strong relationships with the builder's sales reps and we keep an eye on all the inventory in the Sacramento region so we can make sure you see all of your options based on your family's needs, budgets, and timeline. And the good news is it costs you nothing to utilize our services. The builders pay us. So give us a call, shoot us a text, or book your discovery call with the link in the description below. Now let's get into their second model plan. This is plan four that goes up to 4,600 square feet and offers five to six bedrooms. Unique to this plan would be the option for a multi-generational suite. So let's get inside and take a look. Welcome in to the plan four, where you're greeted by two story ceilings, your grand staircase, and a view straight out to your backyard through your covered patio and to that beautiful view out back. As we come in, we're gonna have a very large dining room here. Um, they have seating for eight, plenty of room for your holiday gatherings. Uh, they do have a structural option where this could be walled off if that's your preference, 
but right now in this plan it blends seamlessly into this great room where you have a fireplace option. You can kind of do a modern or traditional design on the fireplace. You're going to get to choose most of your structural options on these lots. Um, you can pick your finishes, your structure configuration, and you can watch it be built from the ground up or you can pick some of their spec homes that have already had their design selections completed. So you'll have this great room with lots of windows of natural light looking out to the backyard, as well as your oversized slider. And then you have another dining space here, more your nook space. You could always put a smaller uh, circle table here, but again, plenty of space for your gatherings. Uh, we're going to take a peek over here real quick. You have your center slider going out to your outdoor covered patio. They have the extended covered patio on this one. Again, great for that indoor outdoor living experience. And with these views, you're definitely going to want to take uh, advantage of your outdoor living. Moving into the kitchen, um, this is kind of what they're going to be known for in these plans is these oversized islands. You have um, higher end appliances in this one. They have the cafe appliances, but you're going to have that 48 inch uh, range with the griddle cooktops and the hoods. And then you're going to have the sub-zero fridge in this one. But let me show you a unique feature of this builder. In here, we're going to have a, a special configuration that they have for a prep kitchen. So you are going to get a whole um, additional dishwasher sink with a nice window out, uh, a wine fridge. And as we come down, we have a microwave low for the kids here, another fridge. So you don't have to have that fridge in the garage. You can have your fridge here as well as more storage. This hallway is going to lead us to our garage access also on this plan. So you have a garage, you have the potential for a drop zone here, and then look at this pantry. Amazing. You have plenty of space here for any of your Costco runs. Definitely great for a big family. Lots of storage. You can have custom built-ins here. Um, so between the kitchen, this prep kitchen and this pantry, this is the ultimate for a chef. Now let's head outside and check out the backyard. So you have this great extended covered patio. Um, again, great for indoor and outdoor living, especially with this community and these views, you are going to utilize this space a lot. Um, you're gonna have, most of these lots are going to be uh, 9,000 plus square feet with many of them at the 13 to 14,000 square foot range. So a lot of the yards are larger than this. This one actually wraps down the hill. So there's no backyard neighbors back here, which is a benefit of these ones that back directly up to here. In addition to the amazing homes in this community, we mentioned that one of the draws to this area is its location. It's surrounded by trails right here down the hill, your three minutes to Promontory Community Park that has a playground, splash pad that's perfect in the summer, as well as many sports fields. Within about 10 minutes to the community, you have access to all the shopping and restaurants and conveniences that both Folsom and El Dorado Hills offer. You have the Folsom Palladio Outdoor Complex and you have the El Dorado Hills Town Center, which has a plethora of options and hosts great events for the community, including concerts, fireworks, Easter egg hunts, and so much more. In addition to all these pros, you are zoned to highly rated schools in the Buckeye Union School District, including Rolling Oaks Middle School and Oak Ridge High School, both of which have test score ratings of 10 out of 10 on greatschools.org. Also, many people in this area utilize private schools like Jesuit. So before we head upstairs, I have one more treat for you guys in this plan. In the front wing of this home, we're gonna have a half bath for your day guests, but we're gonna have that multi-generational suite. So let's take a look. You have a private entrance from that front porch directly into this multi-generational suite. And then as you come in, we're gonna have the living space. You're gonna have a living room as well as a kitchenette. 
Um, we've featured other builders on our channel that have differences in their multi-generational suites. Some have cooktops, some have full fridges. This, you're gonna have a smaller fridge with a sink. And then you're gonna come in here to a fairly good sized bedroom with a walk-in closet and a full ensuite bath. As you come upstairs, you're gonna have this nice landing. You have the great windows coming in with lots of natural light from your entryway. And then we have this great size loft playroom, game room, whatever you want to use it for. It's a really good size. Again, it's going to have windows all across the back. So if you have a lot facing a view, you're going to have amazing views out this second story. On one side of this loft, we're going to have the secondary bedrooms. And on the other side, we're going to have the primary bedrooms. So I really love the separation that they have in this plan. Let's go check out the secondary bedrooms. In this wing, we're going to have your upstairs laundry room, which has a great size with lots of cabinetry. You're gonna have an option for a laundry room sink. Also, as we come into this hallway, we are going to have the shared bathroom for these secondary um, bedrooms. It is gonna have two sinks, so if you have multiple kids getting ready, that's nice, as well as the shower over tub combo. And then as we move down the hall, We'll come into our first secondary bedroom. Good size, they have a full size bed and all of these are going to have a walk-in closet. Moving to the second secondary bedroom up. This is a very large bedroom. They have bunk beds in here, but look at this incredible amount of space. They have the desk area, beds, dresser, and again, another walk-in closet. So with this square footage, you're really gonna see all the rooms are really nice, healthy size. So it allows um, the home to grow with you. If you have little kids right now, as they move into their teenage years, they will have plenty of space. Okay, let's go check out the last secondary bedroom up here. Now this would be any kid's dream room. You can see that it is expansive. It almost looks like a master bedroom. It has an ensuite bathroom, a walk-in closet, and look at all this space. And it's at the back side of the home. So look at these amazing views. Imagine even as a kid waking up and being able to see the lake and these beautiful oaks. Now, let's head over and check out the primary suite. Come on in to this expansive primary suite. You have plenty of room in here too. Uh, you have king size bed, plenty of room for nightstands, and a structural feature that I love, this balcony. I can just imagine spending either my morning coffee up here or evening with a beverage enjoying the sunsets off the back balcony. So as you come into the ensuite bathroom, you're gonna have your separate toilet room here. You're going to have an oversized shower with a sitting bench, as well as your soaking tub. You have a huge, large framed mirror here, and you have the single vanity, but with dual sinks um, for his and hers. And then you have a massive walk-in closet. This one just goes on for days, come on in. So what I like about it is you do have a window, you have some natural light coming in here with it being such a big space and I can just imagine some amazing built-ins, uh, custom built-ins here for your dream closet. Now I want to take you out to that balcony and show you the views from there. So this balcony gets you those incredible views. As we move up the hill with the lots, these views get even better. Folsom Lake is just right there, and the uh, downtown cityscape is just right here. And again, those sunsets back here are to die for. So comment below, what was your favorite feature out of these two plans? We showed you some multi-generational living, we showed you a prep kitchen, we showed you a craft room, we showed you these views. What was your favorite feature? 
If you are interested in a home or community like this, reach out to us to schedule your private tour and make sure you're on our list to be the first to know about amazing lots like this being released in the Sacramento region. With only 44 homes in this community, we expect these to sell fast. So book your discovery call with us today so we can help you navigate the steps to purchasing your dream home in the Sacramento region. Give us a call, shoot us a text or email, or better yet, just go ahead and book your call using the link in the description below. We have a lot of great content on our channel, so make sure you check out our tour of Toll Brothers in El Dorado Hills here, and our Sacramento Luxury Homes playlist here. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more exciting weekly content. See you guys in the next video.